topic. Well, I, I don't know if leaving the teachings uh, is like applying some kind of something to, to your life, but for me, it helped me to, first of all, to put in words something that maybe I was feeling since I was a child. Maybe I was a strange child because I was always thinking about death and why we are here, what is creation, those kind of things always came to my mind. I remember when I was maybe, I don't know, six or seven years old, thinking about all those, all those things and then going to sleep. Then, um, and I can talk a little bit about myself. So I was living in Spain and you know, there is Catholic religion. There is all this uh, religious devotion and I'm using devotion again, the word. And then I went to Iran and Iran, there is also this kind of uh, fanaticism, uh, very, very strong, as you know. And it's not the kind of religion that Krishnamurti is, is talking in his teachings. So with all these things, then I went back to Spain and I, then I came to Japan when I was 13 years old. So I have all, the, all that puzzle in my mind. And I remember... Uh, if I go back and try to feel what I was feeling at that time. By the way, I, there is an interesting talk of Krishnamurti with two teenagers in Brookwood Park. And to, to go deeper in themselves, the, he asked them to, to recall, to feel what they were feeling when they were uh, like children, or they, what, what they feel when they were relating to their parents, right? So I was trying to do something like that now. And then, so I was feeling like I was happy at that time when I was in Spain, but I was unsatisfied. I was unsatisfied because I knew, and I don't know, this is, is a power I have or something like that, but I, could, I, I can know when I see something, when I see somebody talking, I can feel in my heart if that is real or not real. And all these things were surrounding me when I was living in Spain in, in, I'm talking about religion now. And when I was in Iran, all this fanatism, that was not really the source of, of what I, I felt that there must be something different. And then I started to practice martial arts when I was, I think, eight, 17 or 18 years old. And my teacher, uh, he, he said to me, you know, is this person, uh, he's talking with other scientists and these scientists uh, start to talk uh, about many complex things. And he explained all the things they are trying to explain in a very simple words. And at that time, I didn't know who was, he was Krishnamurti. So, and then I started to see, uh, watch his videos. And I, I thought, oh my God, I mean, he's able to put in words what I was, I mean, I, I couldn't, I couldn't put in words what he was putting in words. So, that was so shocking for me, and, and I, I, wanted to, I wanted more and more, as all of you, I guess. I mean, when you read Krishnamurti, it's like, you know, it's, it, it's in, it's a, I don't want to use the word drag, but, you know, you want to listen to him more, you want to really uh, explore more, no? And at, the, and at the same time, as one of the persons said before, like, you are exploring yourself, because when you listen to him, it's not the person, but it's what he's trying to convey. So for me, it was really interesting and when I was a, uh, a kid, I, I remember to be, to have this reaction, you know? So in one way, Krishnamurti helped me to understand reaction to some extent. And I remember uh, Mark Leo was also talking about this, like, uh, how, what would you say to these teenagers in the school? I mean, how, how would you approach this with the teachings because the teachings are like so huge and he said like if you could understand reaction and i think it's so important and in our dialogue it, you know it come out about many times this word reaction right so you cannot i mean you need to be unsatisfied but you can't be like unhappy all the time i mean you need to you need to feel happiness so in martial arts i practice martial arts and i also I have this kind of unsatisfaction because people usually they stick to one martial art and now I'm talking about martial arts 
and they feel secure because they belong to something. They belong to one creed, to one, all the, only one martial arts. But in fact, if you are really open to everything, you should, uh, in order to express yourself as a whole human being, you, you should uh, learn or you should absorb what is really good for you from one martial art, another, another, and uh, even yoga or whatever is it, whatever. So in that sense, uh, I think uh, also uh, Krishnamurti affect Bruce Lee in that sense, a uh, martial artist called Bruce Lee, because he didn't want to crystallize his art in only one thing. He wanted to absorb different things, right? And so for me, uh, in, the, in the martial arts uh, thing I'm practicing, it's very important to not to crystallize and to focus only on one thing. I practice Aikido, which is a martial art, which means to blend with the universe. And in this aspect, I also bring the word reaction because usually uh, in, in, in norm, normally we, we understand that if somebody attacks you, you react. And according to that, you will do some kind of uh, movement or some kind of something, right? As in normal life, if somebody comes to you and you will react in some way. But in Aikido, and this I can relate also to Krishna Multi teachings, you don't react. You first you first no, you ob you observe. You 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 don't do something against the other, but you blend with the other. So um, in Aikido, uh, you, you use this word, this blending with the other. So be one with the universe means be one with everything. And everything is also nature. And being related to nature is a way to understand yourself, which is another thing that it really uh, affect me in a good way when I was reading Krishnamurti. Like, you know, when you are with nature, when you observe the clouds, as I'm seeing now, well, I'm seeing lots of snow at the same time, but... You know, there is some kind of a space you create in yourself when you, when you are able really to be one with the nature surrounding you. And that space gives you the energy to really go deeper and deeper in, in this um, examination or this study about yourself and, and at the same time be related with, the, with, with everything is surrounding you. So for me, if I summarize... Uh, Understand reaction is one of the things that really has been very, very important with me, according to the Krishnamurti teachings. Because usually when we are young, we try to, uh, we are unsatisfied, but it's a, a little bit childish unsatisfaction, like uh, being against something, but not really understanding why you are reacting. And so we can be unsatisfied, but at the same time, we should feel joy. Otherwise, you are a dry human being. You are a very intellectual. You, you really don't enjoy. So it's like when they ask Krishnamurti, like, you are this, so, you know, person, but you read like thrillers or you, you read like these kind of books about, uh, you know, some kind of stories, like uh, scary stories he was reading. I, I don't remember exactly if it was Agatha Christie or what, the kind, what kind of books he was reading, but... I think, and he said in one of his uh, in one of his talks, says, "Okay, okay, we, we don't need to talk about that. It's just my little, my thing. It's my hobby." So he 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 was a human being. He 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 could feel joy, but at the same time, he could have that kind of uh, introspection. I don't think the, you know, it's important to also to 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 think about that. That you you don't you are not a dry human being. You are not a you know a statue. So you can. Be the both, both be both things at the same time. Mm 